orange yeah. Yeah. Camaro. See that? And there's something different. Yeah. I know. I know it's kind of hard to see, guys, but it is on small tires. That is a 28-inch tire on the Yenko Camaro. I'm leaving in a small tire. Really? I'm leaving in a small tire. We're building up the for it right now. So this car will specifically be small tire. Yep. So are you doing small tire for no prep or what are these plans for small tire? Is it different genres of racing like radio versus the world maybe? <laughs> no, 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 I'm done with all that shit. Here's the thing. And I'm gonna give I'm gonna give credit to some of the guys that got it coming. Yeah. We're, we're, when, when at my races, I have a lot of small tire. Or, well, the races that I've done, yeah. you and I've done together. Absolutely. Small tire guys like just wear us the fuck out. Everything's a problem. Yeah, I met the black sheep mafia guys. Those guys, they're fucking hard. They race to be around. I mean, look what they did for us every time. No. No, I mean, they fucking their asses off. And, and, and I got to meet some of the other guys and realize that it's and, not and like that's the thing. In small tire, there's not that many fast, there's not, I'm saying there's not that many fast big tire cars. There's a lot of fast big tire cars out there. But just like right now, we struggle to find 10 big tire cars in the race. But there's 50 small tire cars. Everywhere you go, there's a small tire car. So, we all started out on it. Oh, absolutely. Now, this 28 needs to be at least 29 is what they need to take it to. Just start filming. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this, James. Small tire guys are running really fast on no prep surfaces, so I know you, you'll be no stranger to this. Now, when you'll be running in no prep games next year. Really? In small tire. Will this be the first small tire race that you're going to put the Yanko car in, or you're not, not really sure? No, we brought it here to race. Really? But a couple things happened. We were testing all night last night. Actually, we have been, I don't know, it, it's, been a, it's been a sleepless last week. When we were in Thunder Valley, we had some issues. Then we were in uh, Little River. Yeah, and uh, close to Austin. Great bunch of guys over there. We were testing there until 7 o'clock this morning. Wow. Oh, that long. When so I called you, we were just fixing late. For the people that don't know, <coughs> That means you, theoretically, he got three hours of sleep. No. How many hours? In the last, in this last week, probably running on about 15, 15 hours of sleep a whole week. And you raced all day today? Yes. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm beat. I mean, I'm, I'm wore out. That's why everybody will walk it by, which a lot of times when I'm in the car, I close my eyes and try to concentrate on what I need to concentrate on. That was a flash sleeping. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. I know you're loading up. Congratulations. I'm not going away. I'm staying tonight. Oh, you're I'm, staying? There ain't no way I'm driving home tonight. So I think I paid you. <laughs> well, maybe we'll go and check out this uh, cash. Hopefully it'll be all in uh, 20. Oh, I don't care. It all spins to me. <laughs> it's all the same. And it's already spent. I mean, love the new brand for this car. I've actually got something else that, that we'll share with everybody later on what I want to do with this car. But I am taking it no prep kicks next year. It, what's, what's the transition from oh. a big tire to small tire difficult? What, what do you think about, you know whose wheels those are? No. Sean Ellington. Heard yes. of him. Called him up and said, hey, dude, do you run a 12 inch or a 13? I said, some guys say they run 14. He goes, no, man, you need a 13. I said, I got a 13. I got 12, I got 15. He goes, well, come on over. I'll pull the motor. I'll, I'll pull the wheels off the OG number. He damn sure did. Rolled the car up in there. Pulled the wheels, the spacers. The whole night. He goes, hey. he said, I know it looks sketchy. He said, but it works. So that's a one-inch backspace wheel. But he loaned me his wheels and tires to be able to do this. Would you ever race a small tire on the street with this? Absolutely. Oh my God. I'm not building it just. As long as so it, I've known you, I know it's about racing. Here's the thing with small tires. If I race a small tire car, I lose no matter what. Why? Because if I outrun them, you got a big tire car, you're supposed to. 
if they beat me, oh, fuck a piece of shit, big tire car can't run. Yeah. So, no big tire car can ever win against a small tire car. So, a small tire car. And no, I plan on telling you this car. I, I am very, very, I'm about that close. I'm hanging steel doors and front fenders on them. They started riding on the street. Oh, we can't wait to see it. Absolutely. I know I can. Uh, it's going to be an amazing car. It, it will be cool with, with this one and the street car. It's almost done. What street car? Jayco 2.0. The blue one? No, the orange one that's identical to this is 69 pounds for the Pro Charged LS. Okay, I haven't seen that one. PRK put it together, we're having to, we had to do some fine tuning on some stuff with it. But uh, it will be, which is gonna look really cool, take the rear end of that. I'm gonna have to put another set of quarter pounds. I got, that car fits a 36. Wow. And you managed to put a 28 on it. That takes a shot. And the car, you know it's the same motor. It's Henry. Actually, this motor makes more power than the one Henry. And on small tire. Yep. And we got it. We got it last night or this morning. The last hit, I got it to go about 30 feet, yeah. and it, it was. We were almost there. We were actually going to try to. I was going to try to do something with it here because yeah. Nick Bruder was on the gear because hey, I see a problem we got right here. He said we can make it go, but Stacy had told Ruben he's on racing the one car. So that's why I just said here, from low end. He runs. <coughs> You know what's interesting about the small tire car? Is that you were racing in the final against the small tire King Wolf. He calls himself the small that tire he's King. He's self-proclaimed. Self because I've already told him, I built this car to bust Pedro's ass. And Fact. Well, Because he's he been talking shit. If I build a small tire car, I'm going to come fuck you up. He told me he retired the car. Ta! That's funny, he retired just as I built one. Oh, it is kind of coincidental. But he told me he's willing to get it out of retirement if there's big money on the line. Well, so I guess this one lined out. That's what we fixed it did. That I seriously built this car. To, I brought it here to race paper. Man, that's amazing. I like to shit. And, and he's got a fastball tire car, but um, give me give me I've your thoughts on his big tire car. What do you think? You saw. No, he asked me this, this same question, but. In all fairness, I got to look at it. I never got to see it make a pass. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I got to see it because the pass that I did get to see it run, I was too busy looking at the fucking. So I didn't really see what this car run like. But it's a good looking car. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I think he's fixing to try to come make a run. It's no preparation, so that'll be interesting. So big plans for 2020. Look out for Reaper's new Yanko small tire car and any new plan for 2020? Other than it's my retirement year. Retirement my last year of racing. Year. My last year I'm gonna drive stuff like this. Wow. Well, I mean stuff like Reaper, but small tire cars are as fast as big tire cars. So possibly could be a reason that I can still stay racing to keep my work about what I said about Brown. I go small tire. Would you go ever slow? Bradley? I shouldn't say that. Tire guys, guess the escalator. He is a freak. There's no way how fucking that car's ready for the street. And that's where it's gonna stay. Well, if you, if you could run how you ran tonight, which by the way, you, you remember what I did with the last time I put small tires on? You broke the internet. You did. No, you did. Well, wait till they see this one. There you go. Well. We're gonna wrap this up, James. I appreciate you taking the time. Congratulations well, you on have. your win. You're a good sportsman. Check him out, 2020. Go to Reaper SS uh, Facebook page. Do you have a YouTube account as well? Yep. Uh, Matt. So Matt's the dude that we opened the shop with. Um, this part of the shop. He's our painter. Um, hey, how's it going? How you doing? Doing well. So I was telling him about all the paint work and what we're going to do with the IROC and everything like that. Hey, so we take this off and tell Reaper's car? Yeah. This is Monty Smith, right? And yeah. So this is a Monty Smith tribute car that Reaper is doing. Yeah. He's going to run this next year in January. 
but it was Monty Smith, which was real. For the Oklahoma guys, he was really close to him. Yeah. Especially the Nitrous Ones, Doc, Monza, all of them. Yeah, absolutely. And um, we want to take our time on this car. We want to make it beautiful. It came in a little shady. Um, Reaper asked us to take care of it for him. And then Matt makes the town on it. Is this the first time anyone has seen this car? Yeah. Reaper hasn't even seen it yet. Oh my god. So uh, you're gonna see it whenever you put out the video, you'll see it for the first time. Oh my god, I hope uh, Reaper doesn't uh, uh, give me a call. Well, here. Reaper can't get mad, you know what he was gonna do to this? What? He was gonna crush it. He no, why, why is he gonna do that? Because he said he had been trying to get it done for a couple years, and he got, I'm not gonna mention the shops, because I don't wanna talk trash about anybody. Um, they frustrated him pretty much to the point that he was gonna get his big Skylark and just smash it. And. We got Matt here. Um, I told Matt if he wants to take on the project loop, just let's finish it up for him. So he doesn't finish it. He's got a 736, we really can't take this off right now. Yeah, no. We want to keep all the dust and everything off it, but it's got, what, six kits or five kits, Matt? Five kits. Five? Yeah. I think it's a, what'd you say, it was a 600 cubic inch pre-box? I think it was a 730 something, I thought he said. Oh, saw. is it even bigger? So you want to tell him what you did here? Yeah, so we, uh, uh, whenever the car came to us, it had uh, been painted, oh, I don't know, probably 10, 15 years ago. And so it just had some some bumps and bruises from being a race car, you know, door dings, old scratches, chips, whatnot. So yeah. we uh, blocked the car down, got it as straight as we could make it, fixed any of the imperfections that were in the paint, and then uh, we just do what we do. Put uh, about five coats of uh, clear on it, and sand about two of them off and buff it so you get it as, uh, as shiny as it uh, can possibly be. Wow. And How? The inside, he wants to roll look. You said you were going to clear this or something? Yeah, we're going to. Uh, so the cage, if you want to see it inside, you want to keep a roll look. Holy smoke, look at that. Yeah. Look at that interior. All kinds of stuff going on in there. Still has the original steel dash in it. I think Monty Smith would be happy with the paint. Absolutely. <laughs> no. We throw a race car paint. We do show car paint on this. Absolutely. If Monty Smith, uh, rest in peace. If he would have seen this car, he would have been definitely proud of the work you guys have done and Reaper taking on this project. Uh, his commitment to a car is uncanny. Uh, he he just won't quit. He definitely won't quit. So here's the trailer, dude. Because it's gonna have to pull the trailer at drag me. Wow. So it's gonna be a legit street car that is gonna try to. You're the first one to see it besides us. So, well, we even do these. Did this come from a rap video? <laughs>